Hello everybody, AJ Ryzik here. Today, the beginning of something new here on my YouTube channel. I will be doing a series of uh, WordPress tutorial videos. I will put those all in a uh, in a single playlist so that if you want to watch them in order, if you want to subscribe to that uh, that particular playlist so you get notified when new uh, new WordPress videos come out, you can do that. If you are new to my channel, welcome to the channel. Please subscribe. I can use all the subscribers I can get. Um, and and the the reasoning behind this uh, this video tutorial series on WordPress it's kind of twofold. Uh, one, uh, I wanted to do something a little different on my channel, and then also I was going to be doing a new uh, a new WordPress website anyway, and I figured, hey, why not uh, why not use it uh, to make a video series? And you know, just kind of a little background on it. I already have three uh, three WordPress blogs that that I've been struggling to maintain, and and the reason for starting this new website is that I'm going to kind of combine all those websites, get rid of the other ones, try to simplify my life. You know, I make the YouTube videos, I, I write magazine articles and um, and novels. Uh, you know, I'm trying to maintain three WordPress blogs, uh, and that is all on top of, you know, working 40 plus hours a week at my regular job, and then, uh, you know, trying to maintain some semblance of a family life. It's just, you know, I've got too much going on. So, we're going to combine those three blogs into one, and, uh, you know, try to simplify my life a, a little bit. Uh, uh, cut down on a little bit of the workload. Um, so as I'm going through this series, I'm gonna, uh, you know, there's gonna be, uh, you know, a lot of this stuff will be very basic stuff. So if you are already a uh, a WordPress user, some of it might be, you know, a little monotonous for you. But at the same time, I will be using. And let me go and pull open uh, Chrome here. Uh, the theme I will be using is from Elegant Themes, and it is their Divi theme. Uh, actually, they're at Divi 2.0 now. Awesome theme in that it is very customizable, and it is set up. Um, I guess you can think of it as a as a modular. Uh, uh, here you can kind of see how you can set up the different modules on your pages and, and whatnot. Like I said, it's very customizable without having to know tons and tons of CSS and code and whatnot. Um, and I've used uh, Elegant Themes for a while for, for uh, my various websites. And actually I've got, if, here's one of my blog blogs right now, Chronicles of Aria Prime. Uh, and this this isn't the Divi theme, but it's another theme from Elegant Themes. And you know, I really like their theming. Um, you know, neat drop down menus and and uh, and whatnot. But uh, but anyway, like I said, I really like their themes. Uh, the Divi 2.0. I've played around with it in the past. Very nice theme. Um, so anyway, if you even if you're an experienced uh, WordPress user, you might be able to pick up some tips as I go through setting up the Divi theme. Anyway, let's get started. Today's video, we will be installing WordPress. So let me get right. I don't need that anymore. And uh, right here in your C panel. Um, now you may not recognize the C panel with the theme that I got going on. Most people are familiar with this X3 theme. Um, I think the, the lantern theme that I had it set up with right there where it says paper lantern. I think that's fairly new. But anyway, whatever theming that you're use that, that your host uses on it on the C panel, just come into your C panel, scroll down to now there's a couple of different ones out there. I've got the uh, they've got my C panel set up with Soft Delicious App Installer. Um, there's some other ones out there. I think there's one called Fantastico, and 
and others. And um, basically, what these uh, what these are is they've got scripts for installing, uh, you know, WordPress, and you can see all the different, you know, all the different options they got there. But we're going to install WordPress here. And uh, you know, there's there's a lot of debates over, well, should you go and install, you know, with one of these scripted installers, or is the manual installer better, or whatnot? The recent versions of a lot of these installers is much better than it, than it used to be, um, especially here the the Salt Delicious uh, uh, installer. So uh, personally. I don't see any reason not to use it. So uh, now, if you want to do a manual installation, fine. Um, but in this video, I'll be using the the Soft Delicious installer because I think uh, a majority of new users that's what they're going to use, and it's very easy to do. So anyway, you're just going to kind of scroll down through here, um, choose whether you want what type of protocol you want. I'm sticking with the standard HTTP, uh, and then this blog and you can see on this drop down menu is all of the domains that I have uh, I have through my host and so the the new uh, blog is going to be ajrisic.com and then here you have a choice and and this is this was uh, previously one of the big complaints about the uh, about the scripted installers is that for from a security standpoint you didn't get a choice of what your in directory and database names and table prefixes would be and that was kind of a security risk uh, at least in in the newer versions of soft delicious you can go and change these for security purposes um, and from a security standpoint the, the the whole reasoning was everybody that installed with say soft delicious would have you know WP for their in their directory dot same database name table prefix so on so you can go and change these as as you like um, for the purpose of this demo right here I'm gonna leave them the same of course after I do this demo part and you see how to do the install I'm gonna go back and change them so that uh, once again for security reasons um, I don't want to broadcast all that kind of stuff uh, but anyway so come down here to your site name and uh, this will be jrisig.com site description and uh, if you if you saw my uh, you know my the the wallpaper on my desktop I'm going to use basically the same thing spaces between some of those stars there all right they have a check box here if you want to enable multi-site um, not something I'm going to need to do come down here pick a admin username and admin password um, you can use you see this little key right here it'll generate a random keyword for you or you know pick something that you like um, just you know for you know security sake um, be sure to well and practicality be sure to write this down <laughs> anyway um, admin email you know, it will come up with this ran this this default one, or like say you got a Gmail account and you want everything sent to that Gmail account, put that Gmail address right in there, um, or you know whatever e whatever 
address you want all the admin stuff sent to. Uh, pick your site language and you can see there's a fair fair limit. And then uh, you can add, you've got a few options down here where you can add a limit login attempts um, under advanced options. Uh, you can see you got some some options right there. Disable update notifications, auto upgrade, auto grade, auto upgrade WordPress plugins, auto upgrade WordPress themes, automatic backups, backup rotation. Personally, um, as far as the auto upgrades on really on anything, I don't like to enable those. And for the simple reason that before I upgrade anything, I always like to do a backup of my site. So if they're automatically, you know, updating, I don't necessarily know that it was updated right before, uh, you know, those, those, um, or I, I don't know that it was backed up right before those updates take place. So, you know, it's just kind of a peace of mind thing for myself. Uh, anyway, I uh, got those options there, and then you have various themes that you can select from here. I always just pick the the just see it, save it as the default theme because, like I said, we're going to install that Divi theme and going to be changing it anyway. So you know, what's the point in, in bothering with that? Um, but if you want to select one of these here, go right ahead. Um, <clears throat> anyway. Um, then right that right here below the install it's an email install details too and what it will do is all that database information and the um, uh, you know your password and, and admin login all that kind of stuff it will all be sent you know to this email right here so So I'll put it in my email and we are ready to install. And it at this point it's just a matter of kickback and wait for it to do its thing. So while it's running, um, well, well, I was going to pause the video while we're waiting on it to run, but we're done already. Um, and as you can see, WordPress has been successfully installed at, and you can go and click that. And here is our new WordPress the or WordPress site. Um, as you can see, there's you know no content there, but the you know bare bones of WordPress is installed. So pretty cool on that. So that is it for this video. In video number two, we will take a tour around the back end of the WordPress site, uh, get you familiar with uh, your dashboard and all that kind of stuff, and. Uh, until then, uh, thanks a lot. See you on the next video. Give us a big old thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Comments, questions, all that kind of stuff is more than welcome. And just put it down below. Thanks a lot.